Hello from the fourth CME. This is Chris Robinson with your traders exclusive comment today in the grains and livestock. What are we watching? Well, today is Wednesday, the 25th. Um, on Friday, we're going to have a cattle on feed report. We've got both fats and feeder, uh, fat cattle, live cattle, um, and the feeder cattle at uh, multi-month highs. We've had a really good 21 to $22 rally. The managed funds have bought a lot of cattle here, uh, looking for areas to, to spread their risk off as uh, the stock market is making new highs. So you've got money coming into the long side in cattle. Will that continue? Um, it's certainly giving you a good opportunity to either get on board with the next leg higher, or if you want to do, be contrarian, you can get yourself some very cheap uh, downside action uh, going into Friday's report. So Friday's report's giving you an opportunity. So make sure you look at that. Switching back over real quickly to the grains. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, we had what's called a key reversal day in March corn. What does that mean? Well, we made a new high for the move. We made a new six month high, and then we settled lower than the previous day. So on, on a chart, you'll see that. It looks like a bit of a reversal. So we ran into resistance there. What was there? Well, if you watch me for a while, you know I talk about the technicals. There's a 200 day moving average in March corn. Uh, that's really where we hit the wall. Uh, also, we've got some activity in new crop corn, which is December 15 corn, excuse me, December 17 corn. It's getting very close to $4. $4 is a big round number. Gets a lot of attention from both bulls and bears and producers. We got to about 396 and three quarters, and then again, moved lower. So a lot of people are also looking at uh, those spreads, old crop, new crop spreads, where you buy one option, sell another. This is the time of the year where, you, where uh, traders and speculators and producers start looking at those spreads. That's something to look at if you're looking for trade opportunities. Uh, soybeans and wheat, wheat continues to be sort of the, uh, the redheaded stepchild. We had a 45 cent rally in wheat. The managed funds are still short, about 75,000 contracts of wheat. They have yet to really feel any pressure to cover those shorts. A lot of people were looking for a short covering rally if we uh, bumped up a little bit higher. And uh, so that has not yet uh, come to fruition. The last thing we're watching is weather in South America. Uh, it's changing day by day in Argentina. Half of Argentina is too dry, half of Argentina is too wet. You get these dueling weather forecasts. Um, I would still say though, the level I'd wanna watch would be $10 beans in new crop, which is uh, SX17, new crop soybeans. I'd watch that. We had a very nice rally in old crop soybeans, uh, and uh, we've given a little bit of that back, but the managed funds there, again, they're long about 100,000 contracts, so they're betting for higher prices in soybeans in the spot month, and they're also betting for higher prices continuing the cattle. So those are the things we're watching, money flow and weather. Have a great day. If you're looking for help, look me up on the web, Chris Robinson.